Travis Denning. Travis, what would you say, because you were just warming up before we came on, what are, what are the five most iconic guitar riffs that come to your mind when I throw that on you? And I say this why. I'll give you time. I'm going to vamp for a second while you do that. I was just singing when you came in, I carry on a wayward son. And then you played it. You the just, bum, 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 oh, no, you can play it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. He just pulled that out. Like, that was crazy. <laughs> we have a deal on this show where... The guys have asked the girls keep going and going and going. to to not be noisy when they're in the bathroom. Like when, when they pee, the guys can hear it. So right. they, they go in playing music. <laughs> right. <laughs> and it's it, it's Kansas is what well, y'all playing. Well, it was for me. So I went in and I was like, that's what I was playing. So that's why it was in my head when you came in. Oh yeah. And then you played that. What a great pee song. Well, I just like it. I was, I yeah, yeah. Up. I mean, it's a good bathroom song. Yeah. But we play that so we don't hear the girls pee. That's that's the thing. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It covers very it, immature. Yes. Yeah. It doesn't like the. I know. Not, not not for me. I'm not immature. I just like the song. Yeah. No. But from the top Idiots. of your head. All right. Top five. five. You got to play them though. That you know. Riff me something. Okay. You know, these top are gonna five. be rough on. Go ahead. On the, go. <laughs> just, oh. That there it is. That's the best one. Tune in. Go ahead. Amy, what is it? Name that riff. I I got it. I know. I know it. Keep going, Travis. Keep going. Yeah, it's um, it's very famous. <laughs> She's got a smile, and it seems to me that's it. Me. What is it? What is it? What is it? Sweet child of mine. Sweet child of mine. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Give her a point. Give her a point. Go. All right, lunchbox, you're on this one. You ready? You good with another one? We threw this on you. Yeah. Go ahead. It's not it's not all summer long like I thought at first. Oh, Kid Rock like all summer right. long. That's okay. Sweet Home Alabama. That's correct. There yeah. it is. Good. Yeah. Both are iconic. Okay. Give us give us another one. Come on. Maybe. Oh, oh, come on. Okay. Back in black. That's it. Back in black. Good job. Yeah. Good job, right. baby. All right, lunchbox over to you. Let's go. That's three, right? That's three. So you got you two need more. One more. We put all the pressure on you. National audience here. We just threw this on you. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Amy, you can jump in too. That's, That's not iconic. iconic. It's hard. Yes, it is. I'll do some melody. She got a heart in Maine. She was brutally handsome. She was terminally oh, pretty. Oh, a sex machine. What? Not even no, close. Not close. Yeah. Yeah. What <laughs> Life in the fast lane. Show me make you lose your mind. Eagles. Life in the fast lane. It's literally li life in the fast lane. Okay, sex machine. Never heard of it. <laughs> or sex machine. It's by the yeah, Beagles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Eagles, okay, yeah. one more. We'll give us one more that comes to mind. Okay, one of the greatest riffs ever. Okay. Massive, massive hit song. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Big one. one. Already got this one. Do you okay. know it? Yeah, I do. Yeah, great song. I mean, oh, one I of the, know. It's really... Is it John Mayer? No. no, 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 no. Even better, even better. Oh. Even better, even better. Is it one of your Abby. songs, Yes, Travis? it's one of Travis. Abby. Abby. Yeah, there yeah. it is. Yeah. And the game is Abby. That's anybody but you. Yeah, good job. Yeah. Uh... You got a whole new a whole new album out. Whole new album. So a lot of songs on this one. Fifteen. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. Uh, do you like them all? Most of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You, I liked them all when I recorded them, and then yeah, no, I I, I like most of them. Yeah. <laughs> Big build up. It's been a while. Yeah, has been. Yeah, twenty twenty two is my last like project. I sure. guess. Yeah. yeah. There's been songs sprinkled along the way, but. Uh, you, you got the new song adder to the list, and do you want to play that, or would you rather us play that? It's up to you, buddy. I, I mean, it's up. I, I'll play it. I'll sing it. You want to see? Yeah, yeah. You guys want to hear him sing? Or we yes. don't. Yeah. Oh, you want to send him on his way? It's, it's up to you guys. <laughs> sing. I can sing just it. leave too if okay. y'all want me to. Uh, no, let me kidding. say this as he's getting ready here. Travis Denning is here. He's got a, a, a brand new album called Roads That Go Nowhere. Um, almost all the songs Travis wrote, but Travis is also a big songwriter. He wrote Devil Don't Know on Morgan Wallen's new album. So, oh, you know, good cool. thing about really good songwriters is they appreciate other really good songwriters. And so Travis did that with this record a little bit too. So add her to the list, one of the songs that you did not write. Yeah, it was actually the last song I picked for the entire project. Uh, we had, I knew I wanted 15 songs and we had... 11 cut and we had three picked and so i was kind of looking for that 15th one and um my 
producers, both of them uh, co-wrote this song and they played it for me. And I just, I love the hook. I love the story. And I was roped in by the second line. Again, I'd like to commend you because you wrote almost this entire record. And the fact that you love this song so much, you're like, I'm going to record it even though I didn't write it. That's hard to do. Yeah. As a songwriter. Well, I, I've been on, well, I've been on the other side of that table for essentially since I moved to Nashville, trying to get people to believe in a song that they didn't write, you know, as a songwriter. Sure. And so I always vowed that, you know, if I had a record deal, the best song would win. It didn't matter if I wrote it. Uh, before we get back to the album stuff, a question for you. There's a urban legend about you that you showed up to town with $10,000, and if you spend all of it, you go home. Yeah, or get a job. Yeah. So what is that story? Tell me the real version. I, I just had when I, when I moved here, I had like three thoughts in my head. One was that I wanted to be 21. Um, How old were you when you moved here? I, I was 21 in three weeks. Okay. I moved here like January 16th. Um, and I saved up money over about two years playing shows and playing gigs in Georgia. And um, I just wanted to come here and if I penny pinched, I can make rent and feed myself a little bit and just focus that first year on writing songs and not having to get a second job, which of course, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I just, I wanted to be totally focused. And my goal was to get a publishing deal within that first year in the middle of November of 2014, I signed a publishing deal. So I uh, fortunately didn't have to go get a job, but, uh, how yeah, much, I, how much uh, did you have left in your account? Woo, I sh M maybe two grand maybe would you have taken feet pics if someone said if for pictures of your feet i would, I would i'd do that right now yeah to yeah be honest yeah. with you i mean hey mortgage rates are still high you yeah. know so you gotta do what you gotta do <laughs> uh the yeah. new album roads to go nowhere does it have to be the right people to be vulnerable with you ever like man i'm really feeling i was in love and they're like you idiot and you're like oh, i can't write that with you like do you have to pick the right people to be vulnerable with? I, you know, I don't think so. In fact, I think some of the best vulnerable moments in Saul Roddy can come with people you don't know. And in fact, this song was a little bit of both. One, uh, one of the writers, James McNair, a uh, close friend of mine, I've known him for a long time, and so I felt super comfortable us talking about our stories and our roads that got us nowhere and the ones that got us here. And then Ben Foster, who was another writer on it, I think that was the first time me and him had written together. May may have been the second time. Um, but he if was. If you start crying in a writing room and the dude doesn't even know, you're like, bro. That'd be weird. I yeah. didn't cry. Okay. But we, we had a good time reminiscing and stuff. I mm -hmm. got a little emotional when I heard the demo for the first time, but I was by myself. Did you sing the demo? I did. And you got emotional because the song reminded you of what you were actually writing about? Like you separated yourself from it enough to listen to what you were saying? Yeah, I don't, I just, I, it took me back and it was kind of a, there was some stuff going on like, it, you know, in my life, not bad, but just things changing with like people I worked with and things like that. It was just kind of a little bit of a pinnacle time. I was about to get married. Like, and I just was, I was thinking about all the, the good stuff. I was thinking about some of the, the ditches and the potholes and stuff, you know. Um, mortgage rates. Mortgage rates, yeah. I traded a 2.9 for a 7.1. That uh, wasn't. Roads go nowhere, hurts. golly. Yeah, I don't think Ramsey would like that one. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, hey, you got to do what you got to do. But, uh, no, we, uh, yeah, it just, I don't know. It, it took me back to being a kid and just dreaming of hopefully making a living playing music. And when I get there, you'll be the first to know. Thank you. I'm sure. really looking forward to yeah. that call. <laughs> uh, I was at a restaurant. I was having, uh, my wife and I were having dinner with a couple of, of her friends from back back home somewhere and Travis walks in with his wife and Travis comes up and he like puts his hands on my shoulder like what up we have like what up buddy whatever I never get up I didn't get up I have my food in front of me and it's fans body. I and held on for just five yeah, yeah, minutes yeah. on the shoulder while he <laughs> ate everything so he walks on whatever and they were like who was that I was like I said I have no idea <laughs> <laughs> That's the greatest I really response. said that, That's and then funny. a few minutes later, I was like, I'm just kidding. That's not yeah, yeah. But I did say that because it was very aggressive. And I thought it was funny to go, I have no, I've, I have no idea. I thought, yeah, I thought no, you guys knew who that was. No idea. Yeah, I, th I have um, no idea. This is the I'm a little teapot challenge I just came up with. Cool. Because Can you solo anything? About to find out, I guess. So if I were to sing <laughs> I'm a little teapot and then point at you, could you solo that in the spot, the gap? Watch it. Follow and learn. All right. <laughs> He's scared. What key are you in? My own. All right, cool. Oh boy. Universal skeleton key is what I call it. B for Bobby. Usually, I, usually I'm in D. D. Yeah, usually. Is that right? That's usually where I sing it. You know. It doesn't matter. Let's just see what happens. Cool. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle. Here is my spout. When I get all steamy, tear me out. Tip me over and pour me out. Travis sitting everybody. Yeah, 
that's good right there. You were yeah. D. That's good. That's you good. were D. D flat. That's well, not yeah, very flat. D very D, flat. D super D flat. Super <laughs> flat and a half. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. the only place I can I can live. Yeah, you know, in, in that that D area. I feel you. Um, I just B flat. Okay. All the time. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you're out with Hardy. <laughs> yeah, we're we're out this summer with with Hardy on the Quit tour. He did a song with you too. Is that kind of a uh, you know hey. Do the show, put you on a song. What happened? Uh, man, this was a song I wrote eight years ago. Really? Actually, yeah. It was a uh, first song I'd written with um, Jesse Alexander and Chase McGill. You know what, two, note, two you know what that writers. was? What? I'm sorry to interrupt you. Look at this photograph. <laughs> Look at this photograph. Every time I do it makes me laugh. This guy's amazing. How did I? <laughs> Get so red. Shout out to Chad Kruger. It was the, the song John is That's what it hit when he hit that, and it just immediately took you there. Yeah, right there. That was beautiful. So anyway, the Hardy song. Yeah, that's that's on there. Uh, that's a Southern Rock. Mm -hmm. um, just really a song that's kind of an ode to how I grew up and the, the way I was raised and where I come from. And we recorded it. I knew it was a special song for me, just how much I loved it. Uh, but I felt like it could go to the next level with somebody else and. I, I knew Hardy was the perfect guy. I shot it to him, and a day later he texted me, which is par for the course, and uh, he said, I'm in, let's do it. And, uh, man, it just – it it he crushed it. I mean, took it to another stratosphere. And, uh, yeah, I think we're going to be playing it on the tour, so it would be really fun. That's cool, man. Well, congratulations. You guys can go uh, go to Hardy's Quit Tour, and Travis is support for Hardy. Hardy's on one of the tracks. The new record is called Roads That Go Nowhere. And that little song we just sang was from Nickelback. Yeah, and that one's not on the record. That was not, <laughs> unfortunately. Not what yet. about I'm a little teapot? Not till that's that's on the deluxe, the Target <laughs> exclusive. Target yeah, exclusive. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, which, by the way, you can play that song because that is public domain. You can really? play a little teapot all day, every day. <laughs> I'm gonna cut a bluegrass version of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Travis, good to see you, buddy. Good you guys follow Travis. Travis R. Denning on Instagram. The album. This is your debut album. It, Why do they say that? I don't, I don't really know. I, I'm kind of with you. I, I call it my first full-length album. It's my first, like, 15-song thing, but my first single came out, like, six and a half years ago, so I don't know if it counts. Huh. Debut album's out. Debut, right. full-length, first full-length, big debut right, album. There he is. Travis Denny, everybody. <laughs>